And as the world celebrates the International Day of the Girl Child, there is a call for adequate investment in girl child education to enable them to have a say in the society. Well, the day is celebrated annually to amplify the voices of young girls around the world and increase awareness on issues facing them. The United Nations International Day of the Girl Child held on the 11th of October and it aims at highlighting and addressing the needs and challenges of girls faced uh, while promoting girls' empowerment and the fulfillment of their fundamental human rights. And for more on this discussion about the girl child in Nigeria, let's bring in Richa. That's Rita Eujevo, who is an author and a girl child advocate. Rita, thank you so much for being here tonight with me. Thank you for in having the me. In the studio. Well, I'm excited to have this conversation because on Monday we celebrated the girl child, and there was a lot of talk about the education of the girl child. But beyond right. the education, yes, we know it's a challenge, but what more are the challenges that the girl child faces in Nigeria? Well, education is key if we must take the girl child from any issue that they have. But I think we also need to look at uh, some of the cultural practices that we have in Nigeria and in Africa indeed, uh, which has led to us experiencing so many challenges with the girl child. Do you want to start, you want to start from early marriage, which is one thing that impedes the girl child's education? Because early marriage is a start of so many other things. Early marriage is what it is to you having, you know, girls becoming mothers. By girls, I mean children becoming mothers. So you're also moving from there to things like v uh, VVP, uh, VVF uh, illnesses. And it's quite a challenge because when that happens, what, what you see is that these girls are left on their own uh, or at the mercy of, uh, uh, you know, NGOs who come and cater for them. Even the families, their mothers don't know what to do because, again, they did not get the education they need to be able to provide help for them at this time, at this particular time. You can move from there and you talk about female genital mutilation. That's another challenge that the girl child, the girl child face. It depends on what part of the country you go to, there's always one thing or the other for you to pick that the girl child deals with in Nigeria. The, 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 I think NAPTIP and a lot of CSUs have worked so hard. We have the Violence Against Persons Prohibition uh, uh, Act that is out, the VAP bill. Some states have still not passed it. It's not still not been domesticated in some, in some states, states, unfortunately. While some states are flying with it, the kitty, for mm. instance, is doing so well, even naming and shaming people who are, you know, who are taking advantage of young girls. You still talk about domestic violence and sexual abuse. Amaka, you hear of stories of babies being raped, snatched from the cradle, two, three years old girls to get raped mm. in 2021. And what we saw during COVID-19 is just an expose of the things that go on behind the curtains. It's a good thing you've actually talked on uh, COVID-19 because I do know that uh, from the data released by UNICEF just a couple of weeks ago, they are saying about 1.3 million girls actually drop out annually. And the COVID-19 pandemic has actually exacerbated the issues that the girl worse. child faces in Nigeria. But since the pandemic, yes, we're finding a way to balance it right now with our right. regular livelihoods. Do you think... The nation as a whole has done enough to really help the girl child really deal with the effects of COVID-19 and also be able to live a full life, mm. you I, think? As a nation, I think that we need to move beyond lip service to actually getting things done. The, this year's theme of the celebrating the International Day of the, world, the Girl Child has to do with digital generation, our generation. During the lockdown, you know, 2020 is like a year that a lot of people missed. You know, right. I'm like, am I a year older? Really? <laughs> you know. But for the girl child and for most Nigerian children, it was double the issue, just as it was for parents. But we're talking about the girl child now. They were home, couldn't go to school. Those who were in school. Don't forget, we have quite a number of them who are actually out of school anyway. But now, those who were in school are now at home. The only way they can be educated is through virtual how many homes homes had internet mm. very few very right. few those that had it wasn't even good enough so the education suffered even more during this period and some of these girl girl child who go to school we're taking talking of issues of uh, menstrual health is also a challenge for them during the covid 19 lockdown Amaka, did you realize that even the areas where you had uh, what did we call it uh, the parks that was given to people um to the help. palliatives 
the palliatives. Did you find a sanitary towel in any of those parks? I didn't get one, so I'm not sure. No, there was wasn't. There. At least we reported these things. We didn't get it, but mm. we saw those that were distributed. It didn't cross anybody's mind that the girl at home, we need to get sanitary towel during this period. So they are not usually at the front burner of the decisions that are being made. People, we don't think of the girl child when, as we should. Let's not say at all. Of course they think about but not, not enough. And we need to be more intentional. We need to be more deliberate if we want to get them to where they ought to be and invariably get our society to where it ought to be because we decide to cannot get to where it's going to be if we do not take care of the girl child. I like that fact because if you look at what uh, you know we've seen from data, they're saying that technology, especially when you look at the way the world is going, mm -hmm. you cannot remove that from how you know a nation needs to move forward. Absolutely. The good thing about it is this data that we have seen right now, talking about technology, 50, less than 50% of women have technology, um, you know, opportunities mm -hmm. to actually get access to even common WhatsApp. It's difficult. But I do know that you as an individual, you have written a book oh, yes. about how you grew up and, you know, the challenges you faced as an individual. Mm -hmm. So from when you wrote that book till now, is it better for the girl child in Nigeria? For, from what Rita experienced as a young girl growing up in Nigeria? Uh, I think that... Um I cannot give a straight answer to that. From where I sit, it could be better because I've decided it to be better for my own children. But I do know there are still a lot of girls who are going through what I went through, and maybe worse. And what did I go through? It is not necessarily having all the, you know, uh, access that I need to education as that when I should have them, right? But we still have kids who are in worse situation right now, who don't even go to school. If you walk down the street, if even Abuja, the nation's capital, you still see young girls and boys. How do we get it better, Rita? Let's wrap up this conversation. Intentionality from the government, beyond lip service. The CSO are doing a lot, but they will only knock. They will advocate until our leaders are intentional about doing what we ought to do. Not lip service of uh, homeschool fielding. Yes, this is good. But how is it helping the girl child go to school? How is it helping them get educated? How is it helping them move away from the place of not owning their voice? Because if a girl is not educated, she will not own her voice. And the biggest challenge that most girl, most girl child have is, because, is that, you know, they can't even express that is, which is within them. The intelligence, the potentials they have, they cannot express it. Even when they are in school, because they are not confident enough. Don't forget from your home, from the society. We already teach the get child to be subservient. You're groomed to be a fabulous homekeeper, a good wife. Nothing wrong with that. But what about telling you you can conquer the world? That's starting from home. Socially, that is a challenge that even every parent, as a parent, needs to be aware of, needs to be conscious of. So the government... Us as individual, we all have a role to play to make sure that we bring the girl child to the table. Absolutely. Do what we need to do for them and move our nation forward because without them, we're not going anywhere. Absolutely. Without the girl child, the nation cannot move forward. We've seen this happening all across the world. The nations that actually let the women thrive are successful Absolutely. more than others. Rita Egojevo, I have to say thank you so much. She thank is a radio me. personality, of course, author.